Hello, my name is Kevin and welcome to the Love Decanter channel. So today I'm going to talk about Whitefriars designs by Jeffrey Baxter for random strapping and uh, ribbon trails. So there were ribbon trails vases that Whitefriars did that were from the 1930s, but um, yeah, they he reinvented them um, in 1969, I think it was. So, um, and then they were making random strapping ones um, right up until 1980 when they closed. So I have a couple of pieces. I have one with the ribbon trail and one with the random strapping that I bought not too long ago. Um, bought them in the wild, saw them, went, oh, I'm having that because it's so cheap. Um, and, um, and I thought, I'm probably not going to keep them. And I thought I would use them, show you what they're like in detail. Um, so I do have a plan here. I'm going to show you what's in one of the White Fries books. And then I am going to run through all the catalogues, which are current. So you'll see that there's a sequence of events going on where they were being made. And then what am I going to do? Yes, I'm going to show you the two vases in detail so you can know what you're looking for. And one of the reasons I'm doing this is because when I first saw this, um, the random strap bars that I bought in a charity shop, um, I thought, hmm, I think that's white fries. I think it is. I think it is. And I had a good look at it. I'm thinking, I think this, I don't remember it being cased. I don't, is it like this? I've never seen one in real life. Um, I don't think they're that common. So, did was I popped outside did a quick google I went yeah, I think it is there I'm gonna go back in and buy it for a fiver so yeah I thought don't be in that place I will show you what they're like in detail and there are different patterns and things but if you see it in detail you'll know what you're looking at when you see it and you from the catalogs I'm going to show you you'll see the different shapes and colors and all that kind of stuff so with that said let's get on with the video this book I'm showing you here is White Frost Glass, The Art of James Powell and Sons by um, Leslie Jackson. And yeah, so this is the um, ribbon trail that we're talking about. It, the shape is similar to the um, previous ribbon trails, but the way the ribbon trail is a different color. I'm gonna color back. Yeah, it's just completely different in look. Um, they also did these spot ones. I don't think these run for very long either. These didn't run for very long. Um, I look in the catalogues a couple of years it's telling you 69 to 71 here so yeah and then over the page these are the random strap uh, vases that they're showing um, once, once we get into the book into the catalogues you'll see there's other shapes than these here um, and what we'll also do we'll have a quick look online and see what other colors pop up as well um, but anyway so this is what's in here and as you can see designed by Jeffrey Baxter so here we are here are the two vases that I have the first thing to note is that they are cased glass which means that they're clear over blue so you can see the bases look clear I'll show you that in close up yeah and then you can see polished pontles. Polished pontle doesn't mean it's definitely white fries, but a lot of white fries, most of white fries, it does have a polished pontle. Okay. And you can see the wear on the base, because the newest this can be is 1980. So, yeah. These can be up to 50 years old. And you can see this random strapping. It's a bit like some of the glasses. I, th I think there's a few makers that do this style of glass um, or patterning. Phoenician glass in, in Malta is one of them. But theirs is usually iridescent that I've seen. I'm sure there are others. And you can see it's got like a textured surface which has been then flat. So they basically squiggle some glass around the surface and then smoothed it in a bit you can feel it bulge a little bit on the inside you can see that the 
blue is of the applied glass looks darker than the rest of it. I don't know if that's thickness or if it's a different colour. It looks like it's a different colour. But anyway, there you go. This is the random strapping glass. And as I said, some of it's in orange, some of it's in pewter with different colours on. So yeah, watch out for that. And this is the, the ribbon trail. And you can see it's, again, cased glass, clear. Again, polished pontal mark in the base. And where, so this is 50 plus years, remember, because they stopped making, looks like they stopped making these in um, like 72. So um, these are just over 50 years old. This is the larger size that they do. And this one's Kingfisher with green. Um, so yeah, that's. Those are the two pieces I have, and as you see, the, the, the easiest feature to spot, though, is the fact that it's cased. Yeah. So you may see other similar vases, um, but they might not be cased. So this website is whitefriarsglassworks.com, and what I've done is I've opened up a whole pile of... Um, catalogues here at the top six in total starting with 1969 which is the first year the um, ribbon trail the Jeffrey Baxter ribbon trail appears and you've got these two sizes um, also these ones with the dots appear that year then if I jump forward a year it's pretty much the same yeah so we stuck with these just this there's nothing there's no other pages worth of stuff on this and then when we jump forward to 72 it's gone yeah the ribbon trail is gone and um, we have the random strapping um, this one is the same shape as the um, old one but yeah these are all new shapes um, so although I've seen other shapes with random um, with ribbon trail which are this tall slim shape but anyway we'll we'll keep going um, so yeah so this is 72 random strapping starts you've got these different shapes then if we jump forward to uh, 74 it's effectively the same shapes okay and then if we jump forward to 78 um, we have some slightly different shapes I think this is a new shape here and also you've got two pages worth so yeah I think this is a slightly lo elongated shape so that's a new shape as well I think that might be as well but anyway you've got new shapes there's more of it and in 1980 you've got exactly the same pages so that's where we are uh, with the catalogues. As people have asked me about pricing, and I do listen, and I, so I am going to try and do more on pricing and things as we go forward. Um, I've gone to good old eBay. These are sold, and the prices here vary between £34 and £75. I'm looking at it, I can't seem to see much reasoning behind the difference. There is like this rough prices so obviously 34 to 75 is the price range we've got um that's actually sold but if you even look you've got these two here which are effectively the same pattern 36 and 49 um about a month apart so that, but these two here 50 and 64 they're only like three days apart and it's the same pattern again um just selling for completely different prices um if we go forward and we look at the sold for the ribbon trail remember it was only on sale by white fries for a couple of years and um, when you look at it this it's all the old style ribbon trail so this is the old style red ribbon trail here you can see um, there's plenty of that for sale 
there's only two in the pewter and orange this one sold for 180 pounds and this one uh, took a best offer at 85 pounds so and this is a small one so yeah um i'm a little bit surprised at that if you go to the unsold ones let's take sold off and just see what's on sale now and the answer is i mean some of this isn't even white fries so i don't think that is uh yeah, we'll keep going this isn't ribbon trail that's a different white fries pattern that's not white fries um yeah you can, i don't think that's white fries either so you can see there's actually if you were thinking i'm going to rush out and buy some today there is absolutely none to buy which kind of shows you um the rare the rareness of the um ribbon trail i think if i go back here let's undo this one i didn't do that didn't really look at it let's take the sold off see what appears yeah so you could for the random strapping you could go out and buy some today and some of it looks to be in the price ranges that we were looking at some of it seems to be um yeah a bit higher um but yeah you could go out and buy this today because this was for for about eight years as opposed to the two years for the ribbon trail so there we have it so I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I'm not a massive expert on these these vases until uh, I think about three months ago. I'm not even really looked at one that closely until I saw this one in the charity shop and went, "Ooh, I think it's white fries." Uh, but I'm not certain. I go outside and Google and have a look. Yeah, um, I never really picked one up and had a good look at it. So just in my head, I just went. Grr. I think it's white fries i think i've seen that shape so anyway um yeah they are out there to be had uh, even if i've suddenly got lucky and got a couple very cheaply very recently um but they are out there to be had and they are quite rare and they're, they're not fantastically expensive but they're not super cheap either if you could so there is a chance there to make some margin even if you're only paying a few, if you're paying a few quid for them yeah so with that said um book reference will be in the description as well uh, also the white fries glassworks website reference uh, will be there too um and uh, thank you for watching please like and subscribe if you think i've really cocked this up in any way please comment um i listen to your comments hence going through prices etc hence the update from from my previous video um so yeah um i do i do listen to what people say i am trying to improve i'm never going to be perfect i'm never going to know everything but i'm trying i'm trying very hard but anyway please remember to like and subscribe and thank you for watching good night